Hi, my name is Lorenzo Azar Banks here on behalf of Minority Report Law Office here in Oklahoma City. I'm here again doing another video response to a question that we had asked of us. And the question was this, did the Oklahoma open carry law somehow contribute or aid in the shootings that happened in Thunder Alley after the Oklahoma City Thunder eliminated the Los Angeles Lakers from the 2012 NBA playoffs? The answer is no. It's a resounding no. And these shootings and the open carry law are so disjointed that the only way you can fully understand how disjointed they are is to have a full understanding of the open carry law here in Oklahoma. So, with that being said, let's learn a little gun law. In general, for regular citizens in the, in the state of Oklahoma, it is illegal to carry a firearm on your person. You simply cannot do it. However, for every rule, there's an exception to the rule. And one of the exceptions is this. You may carry a firearm on your person if you have a valid license to do so under the Oklahoma Self-Defense Act. Here's where we get into the meat of the open carry law. The old law says this. Prior to November 1, 2012, the old law said that you can carry a firearm on your person so long as you have a valid license to do so. But you have to do so in such a way that the weapon is concealed. It has to be uh, concealed from public view as you carry it on your person throughout the day. That's the law prior to November 1st of 2012. The new law, the open carry law, will say this after November 1st of 2012. It will say, well, you can carry a firearm on your person so long as you have a license to do so, but you may choose to either carry concealed or you can carry openly. It no, matter, it no longer matters whether or not the public can see it as you carry it on your person throughout the day. The new law essentially took the concealed carry laws and took away the adjective of concealed and now it makes the law just a handgun law, a handgun license. You may carry a firearm on your person, either concealed or unconcealed, but you have to have a valid license to do so. So some things we want to take away from this video. We hear people say that, well, this open carry law allows anyone and everyone to go and get a firearm and openly carry it as they please. But that's not true, is it? No. We've learned here today that the only people who can openly carry their firearm on their person after November 1st, 2012, will be people who have gone through the process of getting a license. So people who say that anyone and everyone will be able to do it, that's just false and just completely against the statute. Uh, we also hear people say that, well, for those who do have licenses, the open carry law allows them to carry their weapons anywhere they wish. That's not true either. Remember, the open carry law only changed the concealed requirement, but it didn't change any of the restrictions. So all of the restrictions on concealed carry licenses are in effect for uh, open carry licenses. There are places that you may not carry a firearm even with a valid even with a valid handgun license, and they're enumerated in the statute. Some of them being, not to, uh, not to name all of them, but just a few, uh, uh, secondary schools, elementary schools, sporting events, government-owned buildings. These are just a few of some of the places that you can't carry a gun, even if you have a license to do so. And let's not forget that private property owners and business owners may govern the possession of weapons on their property. In short, a private property owner or a business owner's uh, property rights trump even your handgun license. They can tell you you can't come on the premises with that handgun, even with your license, and you must comply with that order. So people who say that they'll be able to carry their weapons anywhere, that's false and also against the statute. And lastly, it's certainly the open carry law does not have anything to do with the shootings in Thunder Alley uh, during the NBA playoffs on a couple of fronts. The first one being that the individual who did the shooting was already operating outside the parameters of the statute. He was carrying a firearm on his person without a license. So there's no connection in between the open carry law and this individual's actions. Uh, moreover, it appears from his actions that whether this was an open carry, a concealed carry, or no carry state, that individual was gonna break the law anyway that he had made up in his mind he was going to do that. So there is no connection in between the open carry law and his actions in that aspect. But secondly, uh, the law itself does not become effective until November 1st of 2012. The individual uh, who committed the shootings in Thunder Alley did, this, uh, did these actions 
long before the November 1st, uh, 2012 effective date. So there is no connection in between the open carry law and his actions considering that the statute itself didn't exist at the time of the shooting. Bottom line, it was a tragedy that happened in downtown Oklahoma City. However, if we look objectively, we'll be able to see that the open carry law was not the cause. Once again, my name is Lorenzo Azar Banks here on behalf of Minority Report Law. You can reach us at minoritareportlaw.com or you can catch us on our Facebook page at facebook.com backslash mrlawoffice. Post your questions there and like us so you'll be able to keep up with the videos that we're posting. So now you know a little bit more about the open carry law here in the state of Oklahoma. Spread the word. Tell your friends. We'll see you next time.